Eric Anderson with Video Services Incorporated, and today we're going to take a look at the Soundcraft SI Expression 2 console. One thing to know about this board is it exists in four layers, and they're layered A, B, C, and D. And that's going to come into play in just a second. You'll see why. So you have four effects engines right here. So you can have four different effects loaded in. And to choose the effects, there's a button up here that says FX. If you choose that, it lights up blue, and then you can see that there are four different effects processor slots. And then what you can do is with the scrolling wheel, choose which one you want to mess with, and then you push it, and now you can scroll through all the choices. And then, uh, you know, once you've got what you want, say, okay, let's go back to the delay. These four knobs here, these encoder knobs, become the controls for that effect. So you can mess with the delay time, feedbacks, depending on what effect you have called up. Uh, speaking of delay times, they give you a tap tempo feature, which is really handy. So, you know, you just tap along with the tempo of the, of the music that you're playing, and now your delay time, delay time is in time. All right, so that's the individual effects themselves. Now, in terms of routing them uh, within the board, you want to say, okay, we got our microphone over here on channel one. We want to go ahead and use effects number one, and everything turns blue. Um, this board is all color-coded for various functions. Blue is for effects. So now, channel one, which is our microphone, this is the effects send. So there's your level sending your microphone into the effect. Then you kick back out of there. And now you want to say, okay, it needs to come back. Where is it coming back? That's when you start going to these different layers. You go down to layer B, and now you'll see these colored channels here. These four blue ones are the effects returns for the four individual effects. So we were using effects one. That corresponds to channel 19 here, the first one. Effect two, if we were using that, comes here, three, and four. So you got to have that on and that's how you would get it to the main left right bus now you're also going to want to be able to send effects to, to monitor mixes for your singers to be able to hear reverb or delay or whatever they want so it's almost the exact same process you would say okay i want effect we've already sent the microphone in, into it so that's still the same kick out of there and now you want to think, okay, where am I trying to send that effect? I'm not sending it to the main left right bus anymore, I'm sending it to a monitor mix. So we were talking about using mix one before, so we'll use that. So once you go to mix one, and you can notice again it turned yellow, because you're looking at the, the sends for mix one, you want to go ahead down to layer B again. Now when you do that, they should turn blue, and they don't, but it would be helpful if they did. But this is where those returns are. Again, they correspond to the four effects, one, two, three, and four. So when you turn this up, all of a sudden, it's gonna send to mix output one, which is going out to um, the stage monitor. Always remember that over here, these function as your masters. So if this gets turned down or off, nothing's gonna continue down the line. So you always just make sure that those stay on and at, at zero. So another great feature that's built into this board is there's a uh, graphic EQ that you can use on the main right, left right bus as well as the mix output. So go ahead here to the left right bus, you select it. If you look down here, you'll see graphic EQ low and high. They break it up into two uh, chunks. So once you hit that, you're now looking at the low end and of your left right bus and you can go in and pull some low end out. Uh, they show you the frequencies that you're manipulating right here. Uh, then you can move to the higher area and you could pull things out that you didn't want there or do whatever changes you want. Kick back out. And so now your left right bus has been EQ'd to your speakers. You can also use the graphic EQ for your individual um, mix outputs, which is great for a monitor mix. Same thing. You would go in, you can get rid of some of that low end rumble, which is super helpful and then you just toggle back out of it. So once again, I'm Eric Anderson with Video Services Incorporated. Uh, I hope you found some of these videos informative and are helpful to you as you try to use the Soundcraft Expression SI2 console. Uh, it's very flexible, it's got a lot of features, 
and packs a lot of uh, punch in a pretty small footprint. So enjoy and good luck out there.